I'm Lauren Neergaard, AP Medical Writer. Researchers at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia have created an artificial womb. The hope is that they can use this device to help the very earliest preemies, uh, premature infants who are so small that today's hospital technology really is not very helpful for them. They have to be put on ventilators, in incubators, at a time when their lungs really are not ready to breathe air yet. So these researchers decided to kind of go back to mother nature and mimic mom's uterus with a fluid-filled container that uh, preemies could be put into and take in amniotic fluid, a substitute for amniotic fluid. For this experiment, they delivered some lambs by cesarean section at a time when their organs were biologically equivalent to the organs of very premature human infants. And they directly put them inside this fluid-filled container that they're calling the bio bag. Inside the bio bag, the animals were able to uh, take in the substitute amniotic fluid. Um, it would coat their lungs, just like if they were still in mom. And the uh, mechanical placenta was attached to the umbilical cord. Now there are no long-term data on these animals, but what they did find was that they appeared to grow normally. Um, they were able to watch them over this period grow wool, even. Um, and when they examined their organs later, they did appear to be comparable to lambs of that older gestational age of the time when they would have come out of that container. In the United States, roughly one in 10 infants are, have some degree of prematurity. The ones who are born later in the pregnancy, but still too early, do fairly well. So this device is aimed at the ones who are born really at the limits of viability.